So ladies and gentlemen, this is the Rolls-Royce Cullinan Blue Shadow, and it is extremely special, but there is a large but. This is in for a full urban conversion, but there is the biggest problem in that this has six layers of blue paint in various different metallics and tints, and we might not even be able to build it. So we've been building this Cullinan now, our wide track Cullinan for two years. We've done so many special builds. I think we're on about number 75 now, which is fantastic. We did the Scott Disick build, which blew up in America and generated a huge amount of sales. And the Blue Shadow, one of the rarest cars we've had in here. Rolls-Royce, one of 62, Urban, one of one. A, a true one of one, which will probably be the rarest car that we ever built. So before we get into the nitty gritty of this build, some headline facts. One of 62. Why is it one of 62? Because it is 62 miles from the Earth's surface to the Kármán line. The Kármán line is that blue sort of shield you see over the Earth. Inside, it's the same as a normal Cullinan, with lots of exceptions. First off, there is 250,000 stitches in the moon. And the Starlight headlining looks slightly different because it's got some blue sparkles as well as clear sparkles. Extremely impressive. Eggshell blue seats, but not your average eggshell blue seats, if that's a thing. These have 75,000 perforations in every seat to emulate the Earth's cloud patterns. And then just to finish off on the inside, obviously the additional blue accents on the car. The door cards are sprayed with a gradient as well as the dashboard. It goes from light blue to dark blue to black. And it's not just the even standard paint, it's got a metallic sparkle to it as well. Looks absolutely unbelievable from a modification perspective. You know what, there's no other manufacturer like Rolls-Royce that try to do things like we do. You know, every other manufacturer's individuality platforms are just paint or just interior, nothing to this level. So what's different on the outside? First things first, obviously the paint. This paint is so special, it has five blues. It has a black in there as well. Some metallics, some pearls and some tinters and then over the top you've got a clear coat with more tint in it. I actually, I wouldn't be surprised if we don't finish this video with, sorry guys, we just cannot do this car. This is so special. Titanium blue shadow. This is going to be extremely expensive. Well, the whole car is going to be extremely expensive. I'm just waiting for the total price of what it came out at originally. It's got a shadow grill on there, which is finished in satin. We may keep that, but we will probably put blue accents on the back of the grill and maybe backlight the grill as well, because this is a special car that needs that. There's some additional things on this car that don't feature on the Cullinan as normal. You've got some additional parts on the bumper just here, and all of the lower parts of the car are color coded, something you don't normally see on a Cullinan. It's got its signature pinstripe down the side in eggshell blue, which matches the seats on the inside. And then just to finish it off, you've got a blue ring on the Rolls-Royce wheels as well, which we may carry across to our wheels. So the transformation of this car is about to begin, but one thing that we haven't done on this car, which we normally do, normally the minute a car arrives, it's stripped down, but we have to match this paint first. We are not touching or taking this car apart until we match the paint. So 
So cars here, it's unstripped. And the first thing we need to do is find out whether we can buy this paint. I don't think we can. It's so specialized. I think they've made it a lot more difficult than we expect. So we need to go and see Daniel in the body shop to see whether he can find it. So it's basically what we need has never, ever, ever been sold in the UK. We've called the biggest supplier of paint in the UK, which we use for everything else that we do, but never been sold in the UK. So let's show you something. When we do this, there's like obviously a, a million different blues and we could probably find something that is the same base coat, yeah? So we could find something that's the same base coat. But what Rolls-Royce have done is they've done a, a tint uh, effect over the top, which is basically the sparkle, which hopefully you'll see later on in this video, where it, it hits the sun and it just literally just goes pow. And we need to replicate that. And it's gonna be tough but Daniel's not going to let me down. Morning, Si. Uh, the tinter for the Cully has turned up. Daniel is in the booth currently doing a few spray outs, so by the time you get in, you should be able to see a few versions of it. And hopefully we've nailed this one. So it has arrived, the tinter has arrived, and we have got, as Daniel said, he'd have to do loads of spray outs. You can see here that you've got the different levels of effect from the, from the sparkle. And this has had three drop coats, so we'll do it with three, with two, with various different ones, applying it down with extra layers of lacquer. We have got the match now. It took a hell of a long while, but we've done it. Five weeks, I think it took in total. We've checked it in the sun, we've checked it inside, the drop is perfect. We are good to go and strip the car. of good news on top of good news. Tinter arrived, parts are painted, car stripped, it's ready to go into build. All we've got to do is put it back together now. we would get to this point, but we made it.
So it is done, the hardest paint job we have ever had to do. And what a day to complete this build, the first sunny day in England. So this has been five long weeks. We thought we'd matched it, then we didn't, then we thought we'd matched it, then we didn't, but in the end, we nailed it. We got the match, we got the drop. It was a special tin available only in another country, but we've managed to nail it. And wow, look at this. It just sparkles. And I can see exactly why they called it this now. The Carmen line, from the pictures that you see, the blue and the sparkles and everything sitting over the Earth's atmosphere, this is it in paint form. So it started life as a one of 62, and now it's a true one of one. Coupled up with the Urban Kit, I don't think we've created something that's such a unique masterpiece. A true one of one. And I know we've discussed the interior before, but now it's finished, wow. This really does represent a true one of one with this interior. The cloud seats, the starlight roof lining, and everything that is 100% unique with about a million stitches. So we have done lots of cool builds this year. Is this one the best? The Rolls-Royce Blue Shadow Edition Black Badge with full urban package. Is it the best or is the best yet to come? Yeah.